So here we are in Lesson 76 in the 16th part. We've got the summary of our study on Hogan. We've gone through the book uh, from cover to cover, basically. And just to uh, summarise, really, Mr Hogan spent the first 30 pages on the grip. And then he talked about our address position. And then he talked about our backswing and the through swing. And that's the natural order of teaching. So what have we learned? We've learned about a parallel left thumb and a good left hand grip. And we know if the left hand grip is good, the right hand grip will match. We've learned about the shoulder turning to the throat fully to the maximum. And we've also talked about how we release the club. The two images I want you to remember from the book are the pane of glass on page 78, the big sheet of glass resting on Mr. Hogan's shoulders. And I want you to remember the little summary drawing of the ball position and therefore the radial ball position. So, Mr. Hogan gave us the book, this book in 1957, and uh, I was very privileged in 2008 to produce a DVD called The Lost Fundamentals of Hogan. It's a celebration of five elements of his swing. There's his left thumb, there's his swing plane, there's his shaft alignment, there's his plane shift and ball position. So a lot of what we've done in this little series would be in the DVD. And again, the person that affected me most about understanding golf was the late, great Alex Hay who was just a wonderful illustrator. His book, The Mechanics of Golf, inspired by Ravielli, bore all Alex's drawings, many of them uh, echoing Mr. Hogan's words or just presenting them in a fresh way. So that's the legacy of learning right in there. So if I can just explain to you what we've done in this series, you know in all the other tuition I've asked you to do, keep it simple, prepare, load, release. Nothing's changed. All we've done is we've looked at in detail. So you drive a car on three pedals and a wheel. When you go to the garage, it becomes more complicated. There are lots of bits and pieces. So this has been a visit to the garage, really, in golfing terms. We've looked at a little bit of, a lot of theory. We've covered a lot of ground. But can I just reiterate, when it comes to playing, get back to prepare, load, and hit the shot. So just finishing off, here's Mr. Hogan's course, where he won the Open Carnoustie. And it's always good to have Mr. Hogan in your mind when you're playing golf. I tell you what, he wouldn't have blocked it.